Breaking news coming in, Taliban have taken more than 150 people, most of them Indians from around Kabul airport. A reliable source is told that Taliban affiliates have taken more than 150 people, most of them Indian nationals near Hamid Karzai International Airport in Kabul. The source has also added that these people included a number of Afghan citizens, Afghan Sikhs, but most of them were ordinary Indian citizens. According to the source, who was amongst these people with his wife and managed to escape, they'd gone to the airport in eight vehicles at 1 a.m. but could not enter the airport due to a lack of coordination. The source that has revealed this information to India today has also said that moments ago, several unarmed Taliban members came to their side and after beating several of them, took them all to Tarkhel, Kabul. The source has also added that he and his wife threw themselves out of the car on the way and managed to escape. He has also added that only a few others were able to escape but did not know the fate of the others. This is a big story coming in. We are expecting a reaction from the Ministry of External Affairs on the back of this uh, uh, very disturbing development that is coming in. With the Taliban taken more than 150 people, most of them Indians from around the Kabul airport. Questions arising on whether Indians have been captured by the Taliban at this point of time. If we have Geeta Mohan with us, let's please go over to Geeta in just about a bit, who's breaking the story, who'll have more information on this. But, you know, reliable sources giving us information that Taliban affiliates have taken more than 150 people, most of them Indian nationals near Hamid Karzai International Airport. The source has added that these people included Afghan citizens, Afghan Sikhs, but most of them were ordinary Indian citizens picked up by the Taliban. According to sources, and according to our source, in fact, who was amongst these people with his wife managed to escape and they went in the airport in eight vehicles at about 1 a.m. but could not enter the airport because of a lack of coordination. Uh, our sources revealed that moments back, several unarmed Taliban members came to their side. They beat several of them, took them to Tarkhil in Kabul. The source has added that he and his wife threw themselves out of the car on the way and managed to escape. He added that only a few others were able to escape but did not know the fate of the others. Big questions arising on whether Indians stand to be captured by the Taliban at this point of time. Geeta Mohan, who breaks the story first on India today, our foreign affairs editor, is now joining us for the very latest. Geeta, very disturbing news coming in. It, you know, source-based information, of course, trickling in. Questions arising on whether Indians have now been captured, about 150 of them, by Taliban. And at the moment, there is, is there any uh, word coming in from the Ministry of External Affairs on the back of this development? Well, uh, the Indian authorities have been in touch with the individuals who were reporting and speaking to uh, and putting out videos of uh, being stranded outside the Hamid Karzai International Airport, but we're given to understand that they're yet to ascertain details and confirmation on Indians having been picked up by the Taliban. These are reports coming in from uh, the, uh, the, the Afghan media, wherein uh, Afghan media is now reporting that about 150 Indians, that's a very, very large number, Jeffy. Uh, we do know that the Taliban were trying to stop any uh, Afghan national, be it Hindu or Sikh, from entering the Kabul airport the, who were with visas, uh, and they were being harassed. Uh, but this has uh, this is being taken to another level of Indians who were stranded outside, were not being allowed to enter, and now have been taken to an undisclosed location. These are reports that are coming in. Uh, the authorities will be trying to ascertain details. Uh, we are waiting for a confirmation from the Indian side, but this could very well be one of the most serious matters for the Indian administration handling evacuation uh, of Indians from Afghanistan if Indians have been taken by the Taliban or, for that matter, by elements that have infiltrated Kabul city. We, uh, according to our sources, have come to know that there are uh, Lashkar Taiba, Jesh uh, elements who have now infiltrated the Kabul city. And they are now also merging and uh, infiltrating the Taliban. Uh, being a part of the entire Taliban uh, that have uh, th that have now started taking over the city and are manning uh, check posts. So for India, the worry always was movement of Indians from wherever, whichever location to the airport. With the Indians stranded outside the airport uh, and becoming uh, known to uh, elements there who posted and manning uh, the entire area outside Hamid Karzai International Airport, Chetty, it was quite a, a, a they, they were they, they were, were certainly a target and we do not really know whether if 
the Taliban, the leadership uh, that is in Kabul, it, it has a handle on the fighters on the ground. Uh, if, they, uh, if the Taliban has been infiltrated, if the city of Kabul has been infiltrated by uh, Lashkar elements and We're also terrorists. getting that uh, news trickling in that there is a similar report uh, that is being reported by the local Afghan media as well. Uh, uh, Geeta, you're picking up the story from your sources too and local Afghan media also reporting the capture of uh, uh, Indian citizens uh, at the moment. Of course, the story is developing. We are waiting for uh, uh, more confirmation, a word coming in from Indian authorities too at the moment. But I'm going to again throw straight across to you, Geeta. This is going to be the biggest matter of concern for the Indian authorities in terms of uh, evacuating the Indians back. And in case they've been captured by Taliban, what happens? Well, that's right. It is, Chetty, one of the most serious uh, incidents that would uh, that, that, that uh, uh, the Indian authorities would have to handle if at all uh, this is true. They are still trying to weigh, uh, get a confirmation and a handle on things uh, on the ground. The situation uh, in Afghanistan, in Kabul, particularly outside the airport, uh, is not under the control of the authorities. Uh, the Indian authorities are relying on their local sources. Uh, they are relying on uh, the uh, the administration, particularly the U.S. Uh, military forces who are deployed at the airport. There isn't much that uh, that the Indian authorities really have in terms of uh, being connected with security forces on the ground because uh, right now the situation is absolutely fluid. Uh, outside the airport, we've seen for for the past couple of days the kind of uh, the kind of uh, bombing, the kind of uh, uh, I'm sorry, the kind of uh, violence that ensued uh, to ensure that Afghans who try to leave uh, Afghanistan are not really allowed to, and that was done by the Taliban. But now, if uh, foreign nationals have been attacked or have been taken, then that becomes a serious concern and worry. Indians have been a major target of the Taliban and the splinter groups. Uh, uh, but it again raises a larger question of whether if any foreign national who's trying to leave Afghanistan is safe yes. at all you or know, not. Gita, this is uh, going to be our top story. This is a that development that we are going to be tracking very closely because if... Uh, uh, the, uh, the Indians are indeed, 150 of them indeed captured. This is a big story that is coming in. We'll wait for an official word coming in from the ministry as well. But for now, this is the news that is trickling in. Questions arising on whether 150 Indians have been captured by Taliban or not. Geeta Mohan with the stop story. We'll continue tracking these developments. I'm compelled to end the show at the moment. We'll get you all the latest developments as we go along the way.